In the beginning, there was Rangi the father and Papa the mother. Many sons were born into the darkness between them, including two Tane Tafiri Matia Tangaroa Homia Hirongo. Some of the brothers became tired of their cramped, dark life between their parents. They decided something must be done. Let us kill our parents, said Tu. No, we cannot kill them, said Tafiri Matia. We should leave things as they are, said Homia. And Rongo agreed. Perhaps we can push them apart, said Tane. Tangaroa tried first, but he could not lift Rangi. Tu tried next, but he could not move Rangi either. Even though he heaved and strained, he could not move his father. Tafiri Matia sadly sat and watched. He felt it was cruel to try and separate their parents. Then came Tane's turn. He tried to push his father away from his mother, but he could not. And then he had an idea. He lay on his back and pressed his feet against his father's chest. With an almighty heave, he straightened his legs and Rangi flew up into the air and light streamed in. Then Tane clothed his mother in trees, flowers and ferns and dressed his father with rainbows, clouds and stars, the sun and the moon. Tane became guardian spirit of the forest. Tu became god of man and war. Tangaroa became guardian of the sea. Tafiri Matia became god of winds and storms. Homia became guardian spirit of wild and uncultivated foods. And Rongo became god of peace and agriculture. Now, when it rains, the Māori say that Rangi, the Sky Father, is crying for his lost love, Papa, the Earth Mother. <laughs>